media within Milimani Lukot's premises, the activists have threatened to legally nullify the upcoming election results should the independent candidates be sidelined. Right now we are celebrating immensely the death of this draconian law. It's freedom for independent candidates. And now we are calling upon IEBC to effect this law because we are ready to be on the ballot. We are the only choice. We are the only choice for the people of Kenya. If you look at the parties, those people who are vying, they don't have a vision. They don't have a manifesto. So we are the best choice ever in this country. They want to take this matter to an appeal. What that means is very simple, that the independent candidates disenfranchised will not participate in these elections. And what we are telling IBC clearly in daylight is that the moment these elections are over, we are going to nullify these elections on the strength of what they lost in this case. And there is nothing that they are going to change in this case. We ask on Chebukati himself to immediately issue a, a gazette notice and allow independent candidates to submit the signatures of their supporters minus the photocopies within a week's time so that we can continue with the general elections as it is in the constitution. IBC are supposed to be the protectors of our electoral process. If they cannot do that, they better resign. Somebody else takes that, that job and that is what you are telling them. And this matter is going to cost Kenyans resources. Away from election matters, police in Eldoret have now been